It's nearly 20 to 9. It's getting towards the end of the holiday season now, just a final fling this bank holiday weekend. And that'll probably come as some relief to the thousands of people who spent the summer resisting high-calorie holiday treats like ice cream, candy floss and lashings of vino if they've been abroad, or not as the case may be. Well, they've been resisting those temptations if they've been dieting along with Diana Dawes. And Diana herself has been the model of virtue, he says with his fingers slightly crossed, and <laughs> has so far lost the amazing total of 42 pounds. Very good. How, How are you feeling that? this week? Thank you. You approve of that, yes. you, Nick? Yes, well, I'm oh, very good. impressed. How are you doing what this you week? got your fingers crossed for. We're all very <laughs> confident on the Excel diet. <laughs> yeah. How has it gone this week? Oh, fine this week. I've lost my one pound, which mm. I said last week I was going to slow it down to a pound a week yeah. now. Okay. Which is not very spectacular to look at, but it's better than putting it on. It certainly is. Right. What have we got here, though? I, I recognise that. You recognise that. That's. <laughs> I mean, anybody could invent that. You know, it's cornflakes mm. with... Uh, the half pint of skim, skim milk. milk. In actual fact, you see this picnic hamper here. This today is our bank holiday yes, recipe. Get away from it all. Those recipe. of you who are going away for picnics and whatever to the coast or into the country, this is the kind of uh, meal that you can, or the, or the whole day's dieting actually, that you can take with you. Of course, you take something else for the rest of the family. <laughs> what about uh, lunchtime? <laughs> Lunch is a, it's known as Waldorf beef salad. Oh. And uh, it's beef and apple and walnuts, which are very nice, Looks quite and refreshing, celery, uh, 300 calories. Yeah, and that was invented by the chef at the Waldorf in New York, So apparently. they say, I, d I didn't, quite honestly, don't think it takes too much <laughs> inventing that, does it? Maybe in a hundred years they'll, they'll say something that I invented, yeah. uh, like a Dawes beef salad, <laughs> you know. But anyway, I'm sure it's delicious and it's 300 calories. And here we have the main treat of the day, and it's one pot cassoulet. Uh, which oh, goodness, is totaling impressive. 425 calories mm. and uh, you'll be seeing it in a moment because my doors dozen lady today has uh, yep. has filmed it but the great thing about this is that at the end of your day out having your picnic uh, you can in fact uh, have this warm because the nights are starting to get a little bit chilly now mm. well, and so you, get that you can take you can take it along with you in the hamper in one of these if the camera's there, yes, there he is, uh, in one of these wide-necked thermos flasks. Oh, and see. that keeps it that Hot. keeps it warm. So it's rather nice at the end of the day to have yeah, something. Yeah, a brief like, word about the sweet. And that, of course, is a tropical fruit, fruit salad, which mm -hmm. is uh, bananas, pineapple, and those delicious kiwi fruits. And that's it, a total 155 calories. Right, So Diane. there is your 1,000 calorie a day bank holiday diet. Thanks. Now, this week, uh, we asked another of the Doors dozen, the 12 people who we've chosen to diet along with Diana, to become our television cook for the day. And her name, Mrs. Valerie Lawrence. She lives in the Forest of Dean. She once weighed 19 stone. Now she's slim and trim and bicycles everywhere. So here's Valerie preparing our treat of the week. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a one-pot cassoulet. It is particularly good for the cooler weather and only 425 calories and very easy to make. And this is what you do. In the pan, I have cooking garlic sausage and streaky bacon, which you cook for a little while until the fat begins to run. I am now going to add the chopped tomatoes and baked beans. Mixing well until thoroughly heated. Then you transfer the mixture to a heat proof dish. Now you sprinkle a mixture of dried herbs and a wholemeal breadcrumbs over the cassoulet. And then the last thing that you do is pop it under a grill until hot and bubbly. Right, here's the finished dish. Ready in time for supper. And it looks delicious, so here goes. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Well, Diana, she's done an enormously good I job. I think she's absolutely fabulous. How much have you lost altogether? Um, it's over six stone. It's got to be achievement. one of my star dieters, I think, <laughs> Valerie. But, Valerie, for, for the many viewers who are, are looking today, you and I have a, a rather serious problem, don't we, which doesn't affect a lot of dieters, but uh, is, is connected with the thyroid 
Yes, that's right, yeah. You've, you had a, an I, operation to have yes, a thyroid gland removed, didn't you? for an overactive one, yeah. And, and, you know, for those of you who, who are suffering with this uh, particular uh, complaint, it's, it's in, in fact, it's worse than a complaint. It's, it's pretty dreadful. I mean, you nearly died with it, it's didn't you? It's an awful thing, yeah. I inherited it after I'd got meningitis. But there are many people who probably don't even realise that they've got thyroid gland trouble and think that they're perhaps putting on weight or that they're um, just feeling depressed or tired or any of these terrible things that, that happen with thyroids and we're here to tell them that we're still alive and kicking and to, and to, to, if they think that there's a possibility that they might have you know that this this is the moment yes. to actually do something yeah. about it you show them now up you go Varen. <laughs> Uh, it's wavering, but what should we say that is? Just over 12 9. You pleased yes, with that? Fine, Are we yes, happy with that? Fine. Well done. <laughs> Thanks, Valerie. 12 9. Well, I think from 19 stone, I yes. mean, that's colossal. <laughs> that's that's marvellous. Come on, Diana, let's just yes. uh, get our figures right first. Right, it was 12, moment, 12 3 last 12, week. 12 3 last yes. week. Sure. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Oh, 12 2, we've lost it. And we've got a, uh, the camera angle. Is the camera angle right? It does show it to be 12 2. Yes, it? Because sometimes a, it looks like it's There were a, a few criticisms last week that apparently the, the needle showed from that particular angle, mm. it shows in a different place for certain views. We can't put it over there because of the counter. No. Never mind. But you're happy. It's 12 2. 12 I've lost two. my pound and, and I'm happy. You've still got your transmitter on your back weighing you down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Valerie. And All right. Thanks well done, Valerie. Thank you. Excellent. <laughs> If we can move on, finally, you, you may remember that last week we had the Reverend John Joseph, another member of the Doors Dozen, and his fiancée in the studio on the eve of their wedding. Well, Diana was one of their wedding guests. Did you have a good day? I had a splendid day, Did yes. You? It was lovely to see them, and he, he tripped up the aisle with his lovely new weight. I don't yeah. know what it was. I think yeah. it was... Uh, 12 something wasn't it all due to I you i can't remember <laughs> all, well not really due to me <laughs> but inspired my, by you. I, I was the inspiration yeah, but yeah. it was his willpower that, that, that did it mm. well now here's our selection of wedding snaps taken by a photographer last saturday beginning with the anxious bridegroom waiting at the church door this as many people know is the moment of truth <laughs> 